All right, here's the project. It's going to black out the engine. I don't like this gray color. Some people really like that gray. I don't. So I ran some degreaser over this and took off all the grease to prepare this to receive black paint. But now I need to use some paint tape and I need to tape off all of the little bolts and the chrome. Everything that I don't want to get black paint on, I want to tape off. So I'm going to do that now. And because that's kind of boring to watch, uh, I'm going to have my expert pro editor, producer, director, videographer, graphic artist, brilliant genius of a son, May Saber. He's going to do magic and make this thing go super fast and put some neat music behind it. So let's get on with that part and then I'll see you on the other side of the tape. All right, as you can see, it's all masked out on both sides. The idea is that anything that doesn't have any tape on it, I'm gonna turn black with high heat paint. So I just chose the Rust-Oleum high heat. It's supposed to be good up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I don't know how hot any of this stuff gets, but I'm sure that there's gonna be a lot of heat on the heads. Down here, not so much. And this is the area that I'm really most concerned with, this light gray area. I want to black that out. Uh, as you can see, I'm leaving a lot not blacked out. So we'll see how it turns out. This is kind of a, a mat, uh, a flat black mat. And I pulled the seat off just as an added measure and I taped the lower end of the, uh, the gas tank. Um, I don't think I'm going to be really painting up into this area where I have to worry about all the overspray, but I just didn't want to take a chance. And you'll see, I, I didn't put any on the lettering itself. I was, a little concerned about and maybe the tape taking a chance of killing it off or something. I didn't want to take that chance. So this is where we are now. I am ready to put on my COVID-19 approved face mask for spray painting and let's get to it. Okay, we're all done with the painting and just need to remove the tape. It's best to remove the tape while the paint is still a little tacky. If you remove it after it's completely dry, you could remove some of the paint with the tape.
Okay, that's the project. It's time now for us to enjoy the fruits of our labors. 